Hello everyone, how are you? Do you notice anything different today? If you do, let me know what you notice and I'll tell you at the end, if I remember. Anyways, it's 12.30. That means that you and I have an appointment to discuss. It would drink. And today is episode number 69 already. Can you believe it? And our quick topic today is actually going to be house hacks to keep the cold air at bay. Because you know what? It's mid-October and the cold has already encroached in in some places. So before we get started, of course, if you ever miss a live broadcast, just simply go over to YouTube and type in Drake's Real Estate TV. Hit subscribe. And please say hello if you come on and visit me right now. Okay, so let's get started. As summer slowly shifts to fall, and it's fall, y'all. Cooler days and chilly nights are just around the corner. And in some places, it's already here. So while this can be a relief to the dreaded summer heat, it won't be as much relief um, when your heating costs start rising, because of course, that kind of sucks. But fortunately, it's possible to actually prepare in advance to avoid some of the extra costs of winter while still keeping um, some of those extra costs um, low. So let's get talking about uh, how to keep your home comfortable throughout the season. So there are ways, uh, there's countless ways actually to do to do this right. Um, so we gotta find the right options for you that will largely depend on your specific home and what part of the country you live. So I'm just gonna give you a few little things that you can do now that should have a big impact on how well your home keeps out the cold air this winter. So preparing for the cold. The first thing you should do is to make sure that you've blocked off as many of the ways that cold air can enter your home. Okay. Um, there are potential fixes and preparations that you can make, of course. So here are a few things that you should do. You want to check the caulking and weather stripping on your doors and your windows. And of course, make those repairs as needed. You want to check the insulation in your attic. Um, replacing any that's you know tattered um, or even con consider upgrading it uh, the insulation with a higher R value. Uh, you want to inspect your roof for signs of damage and repair any leaks uh, or damaged shingles. And of course you want to look for cracks and other damage in both your window panes and um, frames of, of, of other windows throughout your house. You want to store uh, any window air conditioners or just close their vents and cover them with an insulated air conditioner cover. You can uh, cover your windows with a layer of like a thermal plastic on the inside. And you can actually use a heat gun or a hair dryer to actually shrink the plastic once it's in place to create the strongest barrier to transfer heat. So that's in the dead cold, the winter places, not here. Um, place covers or sheets of wall insulation over like crawl space doors and other areas where cold air might get uh, under your house. So these preparations should be done alongside any of the other winter prep that you do, such as applying insulating uh, pipe covers and covering outdoor faucets to prevent those possible freezes. Uh, I just had some plumbing work done at Haven House and everything is already winter prepped. They're all wrapped in that stuff. It looks like pool noodles, right? <laughs> Who knew? So you also wanna make sure that everything works. Alongside uh, your checks to prevent drafts and leaks during the winter, it's important to spend a little bit of time to make sure that your home's heating source is going to run safely once the temperatures drop. So here are a few considerations. Uh, clean your chimney and have it inspected if you have a fireplace uh, that you plan to use for primary uh, or secondary heating. You also wanna test your heating system to make sure that it still functions properly. And it's not uncommon for it to smell a little bit. That's just the dust burning off in most cases, okay? So, um, yeah, that's always fun. Uh, replace the batteries and smoke and carbon monoxide detectors to ensure that, uh, oh, and also ensure that your fire extinguishers are charged uh, within their effective dates. So check those. If you've had a fire extinguisher that, that's been there for a decade, you might want to check it, okay? And did you realize that hundreds of people die every year from carbon monoxide poisoning? Yeah, it's really, really sad because they use the wrong sort of heating source and then something happens um, in the winter and it, the whole family dies of carbon monoxide poisoning. I know you know about it because we hear about it in the news every year. So don't be that person. You also wanna make sure that exter external vents for fuel burning furnaces or heaters function properly so that they won't get stuck uh, closed uh, while in use. That's what we're talking about. So, so good. it's also a good time to make sure that you have all your emergency supplies um, are up to date. 
your flashlights are working and that you have at least two ways to receive weather alerts in case uh, there's harsh um, weather and harsh winter where uh, in, in those certain areas um, that you may live in. There are also a few inspections that should really get done uh, this time of year before temperatures get, you know, drop too significantly. And one of them is, you know, check your roof, your heating system. You also might want to look at uh, large trees and limbs that are hanging over your home that could, that could present a, a fall during, um, during the winter. That's always a really, really good idea. So check that out. Um, that's really all I have for you today. I hope you found it useful. And um, please, uh, I want to give a shout out to Realty Times for all the information that they provide me every week. And as always, please don't keep me a secret. Share this with everyone you know. And if there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in the future, just let me know and I'll get it on the calendar. I hope you have a fantastic week. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to live, laugh, and love. And until we see each other again, when well, the next move matters, contact Drake for Homes. All right? Thanks, everyone. Oh, and the thing that was different is these words, I think, are reading backwards to you, right? Facebook, once again, changed their, their whatchamacallit, and, and I can't fix it. So, hope to see you next week. Take care. Bye now.